everyone today I just felt like filming my makeup this is not in theme with anything I might try new stuff I might use old stuff I don't even know basically I just wanted to do something kind of pastel today because I'm loving the pastel trend and I just thought like a pastel purple or something would look cute with this I'm gonna do very simple makeup and we're just gonna chat feel free if you're bored at home to recreate this look and send it to me on Twitter or on Instagram story so I can share it with the world I don't even know where this is gonna go we're just gonna chat and have fun <laughs> primer I'm gonna go in with this again that I used in my first impression this is the lightful Mac coral grass tinted primer SPF 45 even though I'm literally not even leaving my house actually that's a lie I might go for like a jog later but I'll probably take off all my makeup before that if it clears up it's been raining really bad this morning I really wanted to do my exercise like take the dogs go for a little jog um, just around the block but um it was pissing down it's starting to clear up a little bit like it looks like it's gonna rain later again but it's not as dark as it was it was like nighttime before my eye I honestly reckon it's some kind of like dermatitis or eczema or something like that on my eyelid like I think it's triggered by pollen but it's like dry, crusty skin. It's not even my actual eye. Like I've been having these issues. If you watch my vlogs, you know, or some of my videos I've mentioned it. But yeah, I probably shouldn't be putting makeup on my eye. But YOLO, I guess. I just put on some of this Project Lip Matte Plumping Primer. It stings like a little biatch. But that's fine. And I'm going to take a little bit of my 24 hour brow setter by Benefit brush my eyebrows up this stuff is magical I love it if you're a guy as well even if you don't usually wear makeup perfect to keep your eyebrows in check and you can't tell it is even on like it looks like nothing I like to press my eyebrow hairs down just like that and it'll set them in place and now I'm gonna go around my eyebrows with a little bit of a concealer I'm going to use my pretty fresh by Colourpop <laughs> oh my god I feel like I swallowed some of the lip primer in the back of my throat feels like <clears throat> itchy so just Gently going around the border just so that my eyebrows look nice and groomed with like no product We'll fill them in a little bit later, but this is like a nice first step By the way, this color is in light 50w. It's like more of a medium kind of color for me like my fake tan shade and then I just take my little dual petal brush and Going around the edges and we are still running exo beauty like not actually run. Okay, hold on. How do I wear this? We are Accepting orders on XO Beauty. I'm still paying my staff even though we cannot work um, I've got one person set up with some customer service and Hamish has got his computer for customer service um, But other than that like we're not shipping orders under the guidance of the government and So basically we're accepting orders so we can still pay our bills and then we will be shipping those orders out once we can open again in a few weeks. Okay, now I'm going to put on some foundation. Maybe I'll try this. This is new, or well, not new, new, but you know, I've not tried it yet. It's a stick foundation by NARS in the shade Punjab. The Velvet Matte Foundation is stick. Ooh, it looks so pretty. This is the packaging. It's a double end. It's got a sponge on one, a little, a sponge on one end. Why can I not spit that out? Oh, it feels super creamy and the color looks good. I'm usually punch up in sheer glow. And I'm gonna use this angled face brush to blend it out. It blends out like a dream. Really good coverage. I'm gonna apply a little bit more just down my neck and just where I need some more. Comment down below, what have you been watching on Netflix lately? We've been watching the, um, what's that documentary series about like the big cat parks and it's so interesting <laughs> at first I thought it was just like about that but then it gets really intense like halfway it's like hold on a second like all of this random shit starts happening it's like whoa whoa what the heck it's like hectic so I'm enjoying that at first I was like this is kind of shit like I don't understand what the hype is about but it gets better is there anything else you guys recommend um, also, I really want to start watching that Shit's Creek. I reckon that looks funny. Am I, I think it was, was it my cousin or someone told me to watch it? I can't remember. But yeah, I think we'll watch that one next. And also, are there any good movies? I just watched Paris, is it Parasite? The one that won the Golden Globe, I think. The Korean one. I loved it. I thought it was so good. It's in subtitles, but I love subtitle movies. I read really quickly. <laughs> so it's fine. I loved it. I really loved it. Okay, that foundation's really nice. I'm going to now just actually i might just do mm, i don't know now i'm gonna do my concealer i'm going to use my shake tape and light sand three dots 
mom paws right i'm gonna use my petal brush and just kind of like tap it out like a little cat paw tip 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 but i love makeup honestly isn't makeup the best it's just the best yeah i like the foundation it looks pretty oh i kind of like missed a spot down here what the heck shan shannon harris you need to get your shit together the stick foundation is super buildable easy to blend i like the finish i like the color it's like butter it reminds me of like the Makeup Revolution stick foundation, like that kind of texture. All right, my eye skin is so dry on the side, so it's probably gonna look trash. Please don't judge me. All right, now that that's all blended, I'm going to add a little bit of this Shape Tape Glow Wand on top, just a tiny amount, I'm kind of like putting it here, and I'm gonna take my brush and almost like blend it up a little bit. I feel like I'm so far away from you guys. It's just like a thing. I'm just gonna tap that on top. So I'm probably not gonna put a lot of powder into my eyes today, just because um of my skin like how it's super dry the stick foundation set really nicely by the way the finish is like um like a demi matte kind of finish like a natural matte you know and it isn't transferring too much it does a little bit like you probably want to like just put a little bit of a translucent powder or like the setting powder on top but it's not the worst thing like i still feel like i could get away with not wearing powder on top of it i just have to be careful not to touch my face too much i would definitely use this foundation again and I really like this stuff too. Can you see how it's just like really made my under eye area glow? You can also use it on your cheekbones or on bare skin or whatever. I tried it in a vlog of mine. This is the shade A Light, by the way. I'm actually just going to use a little bit of this powder. I've been really liking the Well People one that I used in my cheapest Mecca makeup video. I will link it below for you. Just using it on a big powder brush. And I'm just going to apply a little bit of this like throughout my T-zone. And kind of around my eye area just a little bit so that it's kind of set but I'm not packing on powder on top of that dry skin. I just put powder on my cheeks a little bit, but I'm still gonna attempt to use a liquid blush on top because I'm an idiot. This shade here is in the shade Rose Riot, and it's the Iconic London Sheer Blush. So I'm just going to apply it like that, and then I'm gonna take my petal brush that I used under my eyes and just tap it in, and then just keep tap, tap, tapping, and it melts into your skin. And it looks like I'm using a lot. I am. But um, it'll melt into my skin a little bit and then we're going to use bronzer and stuff in a bit anyway. Which will just kind of like tone it down as well. Blends out so easy. I love, love, love these so much. I definitely recommend them. The hype is true. It's getting darker by the minute. Stupid weather. Alright, that's done. Now I'm going to do some eye makeup and then we'll do brows and stuff and then I'll continue on the face. So, for eye makeup, I'm going to start. Hopefully I've got like a creamy lilac kind of just like liquid eyeshadow here we go i've got this i tried a dark brown one of these in a different first impression video i'll link it below um but this one is in the shade lavender mimosa by the balm the lid quid eyeshadow sparkling eyeshadow so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to apply this over my eyelids kind of like my base i really like all of these colors together like the pastel kind of trend i'm going to use a tapered eye brush Ooh, if i can not drop it and just tap it out and i'm just kind of going up to my crease and i'm going to go over one more time my eyelid hates me right now it is itchy <laughs> my skin's like sandpaper it's so bad i should not be doing this at all and then on top of that I'm going to take a tiny amount of Lollipop, which is this one. And this is from the Heaps of Sweets palette by XO Beauty. Just on a fluffy blender brush just to put it on quite sheer. And this is going to add a little bit of a shimmer. Even though that eyeshadow did have a little bit of a shimmer, um, I just wanted to amplify it a little bit more. And I'm just kind of like making sure it looks somewhat blended. I'm not worrying too much. Like, I'm kind of putting a shimmer in the crease right now, but I don't mind. Because this is just going to be literally it. Like, I'm not really adding any other color. And then I'm going to take this Froyo color by Huda Beauty. It's the melted and metal melted shadow. And I'm going to apply this shimmery color in my inner corner and kind of just underneath a little. If you don't have the liquid eyeshadow that I use as a base, you could always just use the purple eyeshadow or any eyeshadow you have that's like a similar color. Do you guys love the pastel trend? I mean, pastels come around every spring for you guys. Like, here it's autumn. But, um, I know, you know, for a lot of you, it is spring. Oh, that looks so pretty. I love. Super, super soft. Not too much. And then I think we will just do maybe some kind of really dark purple just along the lash line. I might just use this color here, which is called Silk Bomber, the matte melted shadow by Huda. And what I'm doing is taking an angled eye brush 
with the product I'm just going to I'm not gonna wing it I'm just going to apply it straight to the lash line just for something for the lashes to kind of sit on top of I don't know how I feel about that color have I ruined it I'm just gonna go over top of it with um, Bon Bon from this palette which is like a dark indigo kind of purpley tone yeah, that's better I should have just done that from the get-go. So this is turning into a smoky liner. <laughs> and I will wing it out just a touch. Now I'm just going to use some mascara before my falsies. I'm going to be using the Panther. These I've used a million times. They're like crappy. <laughs> Not crappy, but you know, they're just well loved. So hopefully they look right. This is the Lash Domination Petite Brush Volumizing Mascara by Bare Minerals, which I really like. I used this for the first time in my Bare Minerals, um, I mean not Bare Minerals, my Cheapest of Mecca video. There was quite a few Bare Minerals products in it. While my glue gets tacky, I'm just going to do my eyebrows. I'm going to keep it very simple. I'm just going to add some Bobbi Brown um, Brunette Brow Gel. I love this. Don't know why. I just do. I really, really, really love it. All right, and then oh, where's my other lash? I always do this. It'd be like stuck in my hair or like on my elbow or something. <sighs> Hold on a second. Okay, I have no clue what these are. I had to try find a different pair. These ones have been used as well. I feel like they're probably makeup geek or something. I can't remember. I don't know. But um, I'm trying to set them on right now and it's not going well. I've lost the other lash. I'm probably going to find it like in my fucking bra or something in a week from now. I don't know. It's gone. All I can find is one. <laughs> okay, the lashes are on. Oh, it's gotten bright again, which is nice. So that's how the eye makeup looks. It's very simple, soft pastel, really pretty, big lashes. These are similar to Cupid by EXO Beauty, but they're not the same. But they're similar if you want like a very similar effect. I really like how that's looking. So now I'm going to do a little bit of bronzer and contour. I'm going to use my Nabla. So I'm going to use Gotham to contour and then what's the bronzer shade? I've forgotten. Saint Tropez to bronze. So this is Gotham. It's just a really, really good, like, cool tone color to contour with. And this is a domed contour brush. And then Saint Tropez I'm using on a medium face brush. And this is the most stunning bronzer ever. One of my favorites. Kind of going, like, on top of where I put the blush earlier. And then up my temples and over my forehead and stuff. Down my nose, as always. And then to highlight, I'm just going to use this one that's right next to me. This is the Extra Dimension Skin Finish in Postmodernist Peach by MAC. On a detail face brush. It looks so pretty with the lilac. It's like a peachy, golden kind of color. Oh my gosh, it just melts into my skin so perfectly. I'm even going to take a little bit of it just under my brow bone. And then for lips... I think I'll do this color. This is called Find You by Exo Beauty. And it is just the most perfect, like, pinky, medium tone. And it's matte. I'm going to do gloss on top. But I just haven't worn this color in ages. Okay, now look. It's getting nice and sunny outside. Okay, perfect. Now you can actually see how the makeup properly looks. I'm just using a little bit of concealer just around the edges. Because I overlined way too much. It's such a pretty look color. I always forget to wear this one. And it goes so pretty with the grain as well. Like, I reckon they just complement each other perfectly. Isn't this cool? Like, a lot of different color tones but it all just like looks nice. I'm gonna add a little bit of serendipity on top just as a creamier kind of matte finish just to lighten it a touch. It smells like caramel. I'm gonna use a little bit of my Glass Glow Fix by oof, Revolution. Oof, I hate the smell of it but I like the way it makes my skin look. Oof. And then I'm going to use my Carly Bible Il Maquillage Twilight. I love this. I'm like running out <laughs> like already just to make my lips look nice and juicy. Take these out and here is the final look. Oh, I've dented my hair anyway apparently even though I used those things a oh, well. Yeah simple pastel makeup. You could do a lighter nude lip or a more pinky lip if you wanted but I just love the way that color looks with the green I'm wearing right now it's so pretty and this makeup feels like really out, out, out fresh <laughs> um like really glowy really fresh not too heavy on the skin not too heavy on the brows 
very simple and the lashes just make it like you know that next level so what do you think would you wear something like this or what would you do to change it and you could do it with any color as well i just love that soft like shimmery purple so thank you guys so much for watching if you want more videos like this don't forget to thumbs up and i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye <laughs>